So the Honjo Masamune itself gets its name from the samurai Honjo Ichizen no Kami Shigenaga. Uh, Shigenaga was a samurai that was under Usugi Kenshin and Kagikatsu. Uh, and he was actually resting after a battle at Duashonai Castle, where he was attacked by another samurai named uh, Tozenji Umanosuke. Uh, Umanosuke owned and was wielding the, the Honjo Masamune at the time. It was very long. Tachi, they believe that the original length of the sword was Tushaku, eight sun, around uh, 84.9 centimeters in length. And he attacked uh, Honjo Ichizen no Kami Shigenaga at that time. He uh, cut through uh, Shigenaga's helmet and severely injured him, but Shigenaga won this fight. Uh, and at the end of the fight, he took the uh, Masamune for himself. So at that point, the uh, Tachi passed from Shigenaga to Toyotomi Hidetsugu, uh, Hidetsugu passed it to Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and at that point, uh, Hideyoshi passed it into the Tokugawa lineage. The Honjo Masamune is known to have been the sword that's passed from Shogun to Shogun. It represents the, uh, the handover of power within the Tokugawa Shogunate. Uh, so starting with Tokugawa Ieyasu, it passed to Yoshinobu, and then to Tokugawa Ietsuna. The, the Honjo Masamune was designated a uh, Kokuho a national treasure uh, before the end of the war. So May 29th, 1939 was when it was designated a national treasure. All the swords that were designated national treasures before the end of the war have, they're no longer considered to be current national treasures. The designation uh, was commuted to Jiyo Bunkazai, or important cultural property. So you could say that the Honjo Masamune is either a former Kokuho, or it's currently a Jiyo Bunkazai level blade under the current uh, designation. The sword was lost uh, at the end of the war, and uh, as I mentioned, it's a, a sword that a number of people are, are dedicating their time to try to find or research or discover more about what happened to it uh, at that time. But we, we do know a bit about the blade itself. So at the time that it was designated national treasure and before it had been documented, uh, we know that the current length is no longer 84.9 centimeters. The length at the time that was designated national treasure is 65.2 centimeters in length, so now it's Osoriagi, it's dramatically shortened. And we do have a, a, a very simplistic Oshigata, or drawing, of the blade uh, to refer to. So if the blade was ever found, we do at least have a, some reference uh, for its appearance. There's also a written description. We know that the blade had an extended kasaki, koitame hada, uh, it had one mukuyana, uh, one hole in the Nakago, uh, and it was in uh, Koshuai or had a Koshuai with it. So from the description, we know that it was kind of a typical Moboyama period, uh, Uchigatana Koshuai, black saya, black same, or ray skin. Uh, the handle had been wrapped in blue doe skin. Uh, Kashiro was horn, and then the rest of the Koshuai contained kirimon. Uh, there was a gold kirimon fujikashira, uh, gold kirimon futokoromono, and the suba itself had a kiku and kiri theme. So you kind of roughly have a, a description of what the koshurai would be. If the sword was still with its koshurai, it may be identifiable that way. It's uncertain if, uh, if it would be identifiable uh, by its attributes itself. And the reason I say that is that the Honjo Masamune had been examined by a few of the really leading connoisseurs of the time, Imamura Choga, uh, Honami Koson, and they weren't extremely impressed with the blade. The, the, the description, the evaluation is not that it's the best sword ever made, uh, and there are some questions raised about whether it's actually uh, a Masamune. Uh, so it, it's not that surprising. Uh, what has typically happened is that you know, historically, every great family wanted to own a Masamune. There were not enough Masamune to go around. So Masamune were fabricated. Uh, blades that were closely related, they may have been from the Soshu tradition or something somewhat close like Naoi Shizu, may have ended up becoming more mainline or even have the, uh, the May of Masamune added or been passed down as a Masamune of the family. Uh, but that's a bit of background on the sword. The reason I have this here, this is not the Honjo Masamune, I just wanted to show uh, just for reference, uh, an Uchikatana Koshurai that has some of the attributes, so kind of a, a dark blue uh, tsukamaki and uh, horn 
Kashira, Fushi containing a kamon, Menuki containing kamon, just, just as visual reference. This, this is not what exactly what the Koshirai of the Honshu Masamori would look like, uh, but just to give some visual guidance to, to finish up the video. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be sharing more videos soon. Thank you.